Hello, this is Trevor Lewis from the Voyager Middle School STEAM Lab. Uh, this is the second video in a series about isometric drawings. I did this one in the first of the video of the series, and then I'm going to do this other shape here where there's some more slanty lines. Um, and maybe I'll do a third one with, with circles at some point because uh, that's a, a little bit harder. So in the first one, we started with this downward arrow here, and then we made our lines as parallel as we could. I'm using just white paper. If you have isometric paper, it's easier. If you have graph paper, it's easier. I'm using my ID card as a straight edge, and I got a pencil. Um, on this one, I'm just going to point out, so you'll notice I left lots of real estate up here, more than I needed, but that's okay because usually if I try and leave just the right amount, I always run out of space on the top. For this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to imagine if I had a box that this fit in, it would have this this rectangle base, and then it would go up to this point. So I could imagine this box, and I'm just going to sort of sketch that box to start with. Now, um, I think it's okay to start with a new sheet of paper always, but I know that some of my students are trying to conserve paper. I wouldn't go much smaller than, you know two per sheet. Um, if you're using lined paper, I do like the idea of turning it sideways because then you get those nice vertical lines, which will help you with your vertical lines. Um, on this one, the last one I just estimated everything. I'm going to be a little bit more precise on this one, although not really because I'm still at an estimate, but I'm going to use trigonometry to estimate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count over one, two, three, four, five equal spaces. Right, so from there to there, it's like the width of that burgundy stripe is three. And then I'm gonna go up three spaces. One, two, three. And that is gonna give me an approximate 30 degree angle according to trigonometry. I'm gonna cheat it just a little bit down. And I'm gonna give myself that for the front corner of my cube, okay? And I'm drawing this shape, and you'll notice it, this side is shorter than this side, so I'm going to go longer on one side versus the other. But I can do that same thing, right? I can do that same thing where I go one, two, three, four, five, and then up one, two, three, and then sketch in my line. So there's my front corner of my cube. So this line is actually not going to be in there at all, but it's nice to have as a reference right now. So I'm going to sort of sketch out my cube. I'm going to keep this side a little bit shorter. And I'm going to try and make sure I'm parallel with that line. And we're going to sketch in a line here. This side is going to be a little bit longer. And I'm going to sketch in a line. So those are my verticals, and then there should be one in the back corner too, but I gotta find that back corner first. So then this line right here is gonna be the same sort of parallel with the line on the back edge. Because this is not an isometric cube, it's a rectangle, I'm drawing the behind lines here too. And also you'll notice it won't line up exactly with that. And on a cube, if you do it right, this corner should end up right behind that, that center line, but mine's not going to. So that's going to be the base of this. Now, you're not going to be able to see all those lines because of these lines, but um, you can see now the height is going to be from this back corner here. So that's the line that I'm going to draw here that's they're going to really help me out. So this line in the back corner, but you're again, you're not going to see the back corner line unless you're, you have a see-through object. So all of these are construction lines. So you might want to have a pen handy so that you can uh, darken up your lines or a Sharpie even. I'm going to grab my pen here. Okay. But I will see this line right here and this line right here. And then up here, there's going to be some point and I'm going to pick it. That's going to be my point. That's the tip of the pyramid. So what do I know about this tip of the pyramid? Well, I know it connects with this point right here, this point right here, and this point right here. So you can see I'm a little bit past where I can get with my ID card. So, you know, it might be helpful to have a, a longer ruler nearby um, because it is really nice with this straight edge to go from corner to corner. And I'm going to just start with uh, my pencil here, but I might go back over with pen. 
So that's one edge. Another edge I'm going to see. See, this is where my my ruler runs into my body here. So let's see if I can get it with this. So I can't quite, but you can make sure it's pointed as close as you can so that it's going to get there. And then I'm going to just go lighter. And then I'm going to line up my, my line here. I'm going to put my pencil on it. See if I can continue that line on all the way down. That looks pretty good. Okay. Write it lightly at first because I wasn't sure. I'm going to just kind of hit some of these with an eraser as I go. And I'm going to come back and do this line. If I'd drawn it a little smaller, I would have been able to use my straight edge all the way around. But, you know, yeah, you live and you learn. Right? This one is right on the edge of my straight edge, but I think I can do it. So let's darken this line up. There we are. And I'll just hit this back corner here a little bit more. Now, if you wanted to, if you wanted to show hidden lines here, you could by doing dashes to show that we go back to this back corner here. Because sometimes when you have a really simple object, it can be difficult to know what's going on with just that object. It's pretty good. I don't know if I need to go back over this with a pen. You can see I didn't line up very well here with my straight edge. I did not so great. Um, but you can get, definitely get the sense of that object. So that's what happens when you have slanted lines. You locate the points and then you use your straight edge to make the line straight. So this line is not parallel with anything because this line is not parallel with anything on the actual object. Okay. Um, so hopefully that helps you draw some isometric shapes.